Advanced prosthetics composed of myriad materials could one day be 3D printed in mere minutes thanks to a breakthrough production technique pioneered by US startup Inkbit and researchers from Switzerland's ETH Zurich. You see, while today's 3D printers can work with a growing number of materials from wood, ceramic, and steel to nylon, PET, and even carbon fiber, what they've long struggled with are slow curing resins like epoxies. This advancement mitigates that issue, and to prove it, ETH Zurich has produced a fully articulated skeletal hand with tendons and ligaments already attached, all in a single printing pass using a variety of slow curing plastics. Cool hand, Luke. Today's 3D printers work by extruding the printed material onto a substrate, then doing a pass with a UV light to cure and harden the stuff before a scraper slides through to level off any excessively tall deposits. With fast curing resins, that material would be fully hardened by the time the scraper passed and would break off cleanly. Slow curing resins, eh, not so much. They tend to stick to and clog the scraper after repeated use. Inkbit's breakthrough does away with the scraper, instead using real-time surface scanning to measure the relative heights throughout the newly extruded layer and actively adjusting how much is plopped on top for the next layer. That is, if a section is too low, it will receive additional materials the next pass to make up for the shortfall. Conversely, if a section has too much material this time through, it will receive less the next. This way, the printer isn't having to manually level each layer before laying down the next, it measures and adjusts the output in real time. Using this technique, researchers can easily mix and match a variety of slow curing polymers, each to work best in its specific application within the larger system. For example, thiolene polymers are more elastic than fast curing but harder polyacrylates, which makes them more suitable for use as the hand's ligaments. And because these sorts of plastics can be made with varying degrees of hardness, they're better suited for use around us squishy humans than, say, metal printed appendages or an old school hook hand. Inkbit plans to sell its new 3D printing technology both as a service and as the physical printers themselves, while ETH Zurich will continue to develop the tech for use in even more sophisticated structures and applications.